this intro probably serves like no purpose. I just wanted to do a really cool video on something that I thought was fascinating about Germany. Um, coming here and living here, I always thought that most of the food options would be mostly German. I mean, I don't even know what German food was when I lived in America, but there's one particular food item that just seems to dominate so much of German culture, and I wanted to show it to you guys here. So one of the things that I was completely fascinated by when I first came to Germany was how the typical German food wasn't the biggest selection around. I mean, living in America, you will definitely see more than your fair share of Mexican and Chinese restaurants. Oh my God, I'm gonna chop home. But to my surprise, there were a plethora of these things. And that is the donut kebab. It was just two things I wanted to know. How did these things get here and why are they so popular? Well, first we have to define what is a donut kebab. So today we went to one of my favorite places in the city to get donut kebabs, if you wanna call it a kebab. But we went there, we got both the Durham donor and the regular donor. Now, I was way too lazy to film it at the store, so I had to come back and eat it here. But we're gonna show you the differences between the two right now. Birthplace in now modern Turkey, mid 1800s restaurants had the idea to roast their meat vertically. This was because it supposedly kept in more flavor in the entire roast. So how did this become so popular in Germany? Well, in the 1950s, 60s, and 70s, Germany implemented a plan called the Gastarbeiter. This was the bringing in of migrant workers to work as a part of the formal guest worker program. Following World War II, there were severe labor shortages in Northern Europe and high unemployment in Southern Europe. This program was used to balance out the difference. So during this time, the two men accredited to bring in the donor to fruition in Berlin were Kader Nurman and Meme Augen. Both working on the workforce noticed that many of the hardworking German workers did not have a snack that they can take with them on the go. So in 1972, right across from the Bahnhof Zoo in West Berlin, Kader Nurman sold Germany's first donut kebab, which was traditionally grilled meat served with rice, salad, and a pita, which later turned into the sandwich we all know today. <laughs> What is up, Soul Fam? It's Chris, Soldier of Life. Today, trying to make a, what's it called? Donut. Trying to make a donut out of peppers <laughs> only. Only peppers. We're making pepper donuts. It hails from the great country of pepperoni, where everybody's name is Mario. So, here we got some peppers. We got the, what's the thing called? We got the, the uh, penis, we got the zucchini. We got the penis emoji. Hold on. <laughs> what does this mean? Salat, fresh von Schwein. Fresh, frisch von Schwein. And we got the Ruckhole, which is the purple cabbage. And we got the rat. Really? <laughs> rat face. And we got some sauce. Thank you. 
And that's how you make donors, I think. I think, I don't know. <laughs> Gotta try it. Taste test. Very good. This gave German workers the option to eat quick and fast when in a hurry to maximize their break time during their long work hours. With America first coming in the fast food revolution, these concepts were still foreign to many European countries. And although there are more and more fast food options popping up in Germany and other European countries, after nearly 50 plus years, the donor has been able to embed itself in the cultural fabric of Germany. And let me tell you something, this is one of the only places in the world I will want to enjoy my donor kebab.